So we've got our pattern library in a great place now. We have a ton of components that we are being able to document and preview to stakeholders within the company. The only issue at the moment is we have our pattern library on our local machine. And unless we give everybody access to our machine, they can't really preview what we've done. So fortunately, Storybook provides the option to statically generate our pattern library as HTML files, which can be deployed anywhere you want. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can generate those HTML files before tapping into a external hosting platform, which will be Netlify and using Netlify to continuously deploy our changes to the pattern library, allowing anybody with access to our Netlify URL to preview the components of our system. Before we can deploy our Storybook project, we first have to have a way of generating our static HTML files. Now, Storybook provides a really nice way to do this with a build Storybook command within our scripts files. So we can go ahead and copy this command, head over to our package.json file within our Storybook project, and create a new script called build Storybook. And we can go ahead and remove the optional parameters and just have it run build Storybook for us. So now if I go ahead and stop my terminal and then run npm build hyphen storybook, what we should get now, oh, I didn't run build storybook. What we should get now is storybook is going to process all of our components. And you can see we've generated a new directory called storybook hyphen static. I'm going to add this directory to my git ignore so it doesn't get added to our version control. And if we have a look inside of this folder, we can see that it is generating a favicon and then some JavaScript files related to our project. And as you can see, as it's processing our components, it's generated our a static directory with references to fonts and our whole application is available to us in this folder. So now that we know that we have a storybook build script and we are outputting a folder, we can use this new configuration within our application to deploy a static folder to Netlify. So I'm just gonna commit these changes. And if we head over to Netlify now, if I quickly log out, there's a way of doing that. So when you come to Netlify, you have a couple of different options. You can sign in with GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or your email address. Now, as most of my repositories exist on GitHub, I'm gonna be using my GitHub account to log in. So I'll skip to my dashboard because I don't want to show my password or email. And once I'm logged in, I have access to my existing websites that are on my Netlify account, and I can go ahead and create a new site from my GitHub account or GitLab or Bitbucket. And I'm gonna go ahead and use GitHub. And once authorized, you have a list of the um, repositories that you've created and that are public or private. And I'm gonna use the project that we've been working on. Now, when configuring Netlify to build for you, you'll need to use a build command and a publish directory. And we have these available to us with the npm run build storybook. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And our publish directory was storybook static. And we can go ahead and deploy the site. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click on the, the deploy log and see it building our website in real time. And if everything went well, we should have this access to a preview button. Um, it's just finishing up the build, but we're gonna go ahead and click back. And it says that our site is deployed and we can set up a custom domain. But if we go ahead and just click on the Netlify domain we had, then it will now load up our new storybook deploy. And this is available to anyone with the URL and we have our pattern library published to the world to see. Now you can go ahead and set up your own custom domain, or you could even just modify the existing Netlify domain. So we're gonna set it up as storybook atomic design. 
And now if I save this, it'll use the new URL for us. So we have storybook atomic designnetlifycom And we now have our website automatically publishing for us. So if we made any changes to our repository, it would automatically deploy a new build of the storybook project for us. And so if we updated, say, the border radius on a button and then pushed it up as a commit, then Netlify will be listening to our GitHub repository for any changes. And when it detects that we have made a change to our styles, it will create a new build for us and our changes will be available to us from our Netlify URL. So that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed.
So we now have our patent library live for the world to preview. Now this is great because it means that anybody within our company or on the project can go ahead and have a look at the different components we've developed and how they work within a system. This is great if you need to onboard new people to a React project, or if you want to share your React components with other team members who might be building a Next application or a Gatsby application and want to quickly have a look at what's available to them, allowing there to be consistency across any projects your team is involved in.